three, go. Hi group, this is this is our second take. This is the first time we've ever done a second take. Uh, we're here with another one of Smith & Rates. Um, and I have four fragrances I got off FragranceNet. And I did what I said I did before. I usually just buy one bottle and then I realize I don't have free shipping. And then I, I actually search for travel sprays. And I find some that I don't have. And a travel spray is enough for me because that's usually eight mil. Uh, and I have so many other fragrances, I'll never use these. Uh, so I got four of them. The one I got uh, is a clone of Silver Mountain Water uh, that I heard about. Somebody mentioned it, and it's Al Wasam Day. Uh, there's other Silver Mountain Waters that are supposed to be, you know, clones. But this is the one someone mentioned, and so I got this one. Uh, this is Viking, uh, Creed Viking. This is Montel uh, Intense Cafe. And then this is Light Blue Intense. Um, so I'm going to spray all these real quick. I'll do one spray, and then I'm going to let Mrs. Fritz smell them, and I'm going to smell them, and, and we'll see uh, how it turns out. Now, since it's our second take, this is actually a second spray on each one of these. Um, so. And the reason we're doing a second take is because I wasn't in the, uh, the right position with these bottles. So there we go. We got these. And I did write down some notes on them. And I'm going to let them sit for a minute. And then we're going to rate them here. So I think we're going to go um, from the back first. Even though it was the last one sprayed. And I'll just... And this one, this is the Al Wasam Day. And I don't have Silver Mountain Water. I don't have... Uh, I forget the one from uh, Armaf. I don't, I don't have anything like this. Um, and I didn't know what to expect. And they say the difference in this one, it has a lot more florals, uh, which somehow is supposed to make it better. I don't know. Um, I do smell florals in this, and I don't know if that's what Silver Mountain Water is supposed to smell like. I'll probably get Silver Mountain Water in a decant, so I can compare, uh, but I don't have it right now. But this smells good. This, this smells really good. Uh, I, I can actually get, it's kind of weird, I actually get citruses and I get, and I get florals, because I guess it has that that uh, like a geranium up top and it has rose in it. So that's what I get and it does smell good. I'm gonna hand this to Mrs. Floss and you can hear her off camera. Oh, smells good. What do you give that? About an eight. Wow, an eight. I like that. I'm surprised she gave that an eight because she normally- I like that. Yeah, I, I would probably go seven, eight. So, you know, we'll write that down. Uh, eight and eight, okay. And then the next one I'm going to do is the Creed Viking. We don't want to make these too long. Ooh, that's nice. And this one, actually, yeah, I can smell it. This one starts out with like a pepper and a mint um, and a citrus. That's, I just wrote them down because I wanted to make sure. Um, but it also has rose in the middle and lavender. And then um, in the base, it gets down um, to all the softer things. Well, it says it has vetiver in there. And I can, yeah, this is really nice. I actually like this. And somebody today on one of my the earlier video said that they're wearing this today. And this is really good. I can, yeah, I like this. Uh, definitely an eight for me. I would give it a six. Uh-oh. Well, Oliver Creed, you're getting a six on that one. Um... Yeah, but I would give it an eight. I actually like that one. So, and then this is the one that's interesting. Um, I got Intense Cafe, and I knew it was really sweet. And this one's going to be really interesting because um, when I was first starting off, I bought Back Rack Rouge. Not that this smells like Back Rack Rouge, but I bought I bought a decant of that and paid you know pretty good money for that decant. And we ended up not like it was just way too sweet. I didn't want it. Miss Miss Fritz, my wife, didn't want it. Uh, we ended up giving it to my sister-in-law, but you know, I, I, my nose is changing. So I wanted to say this, not that I'm saying this should be compared to that, but I knew it was more sweet and, and all that. And I knew it as soon as I sprayed it. And when I looked at the notes, I was like, this is more unisex and I don't know if I'll like it, but I do like this. And in the notes, this is really, really simple. It's just like floral up top. It says it has rose and coffee and then vanilla. Vanilla, amber, and musk. So it's really simple notes. And it is sweet, and I actually like it. So uh, anyway, I'll give that a neat too. I 
I'm with you. You're with me. Now that's yeah. interesting. When she says she likes that, that's interesting because do you smell coffee in it at all? Did yeah, a little bit. And you remember you didn't like yeah. coffee as a note. When yeah. We, we, uh, we tried out one fragrance last year in Sephora, Coffee Break um, by Replica. And Miss Floss, my, my honey, she didn't like it. She said, I wouldn't, why would you get something with coffee? So that tells you that even her, her taste is changing. And then the last one we got here is Light Blue Intense. And uh, I have a sample of Light Blue. I've, I've always liked Light Blue. Uh, but every time I had Mrs. Fritz uh, test this out and smell it, she never really liked it. And she didn't even like Light Blue for females. So um, I, I decided I would try to either get Intense or, 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 uh, or Together. Either Light Blue, I think it's called Together. And uh, I saw the Intense and I got that. And I really like this. Well, I really like light blue. So um, I'm going to hand it over to her. I could smell the grapefruit in it. Um, you yeah, know, I could smell that juniper berry in the middle. It's just like a pepper. It's really nice, actually. I, I actually like that better than light blue. I'm giving that a nine. Yeah, I would give it a nine. Wow. Eight. My eight. eight. I would say eight. But on the, but on that, which one did you get the cafe? You get that eight, right? Yeah, about okay. that. That's not bad. I like it. Okay. So it looks like we were a success here. We've got everything we like, except uh, Mrs. Fritz just doesn't like the Creed Viking. And uh, and I have part Viking in me, and I'm sure she has part Viking in her. But, uh, yeah, I got a decan of it. I, I probably would get another, you know, I, I might try to get a bottle of this, but I don't know. We'll have to see. And anyway, that's our little sniffing rate. We're just giving our first impressions on these whenever we open something. Um, I might put an update on here when I, when, I, when I finally do post this, just saying what we gave it after it dried down. So anyway, that's what we're doing. That's how we just do this thing. And uh, thanks, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.